<laughs> All right, here's one. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are in search of the creature from the Black Lagoon. No, I'm just joking, we're in a billabong here. We're going to catch some charaks. Want to know what they are? Stick around and we'll show you. Now, this is what we call a billabong. It's interesting because the uh, surf brand billabong, no waves, mate. Doesn't make much sense to me. Anyway, we're looking for some charaks now. There's there's a couple of holes down here. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right, here's one. Ta da! There he is. Charax. This one's called the common yabby. They're primarily omnivorous, so when you fish for these things using uh, dilly nets, you can put in roast potato and stuff like that. There's another hole just down here as well, and another hole there. So I'll just pop him there for a sec. Usually the holes will go into a horseshoe shape and then he'll go off on the side. But if you purge one hole, sometimes they shoot out and you can grab them coming out of the other hole. Nice one. All right, there's one. You stay there, stay. There's another hole here. Let's see if we can get something out of here. Ooh. Down the holes in the mud during the day, and then they come out mainly at night time. Oh, that's... Hey! <laughs> there we go, look at those beauties. So, known as a yabby in Australia, common yabby, Charax family. Red claw in Queensland, a little bit different. They've got the red on the claw, rocket science. In the States, it's pretty similar. It's called a crawdad or a crawdaddy. And uh, yeah, it's a freshwater crustacean. Uh, and the big ones like this, the marin in WA, south parts of WA. Uh, these yabbies are also found in New Guinea. Now the biggest species of them is the giant one in Tassie. They get to about this size. Now they're not a lobster. Lobsters are from the states and they are in salt water in the northern hemisphere. These are freshwater yabbies. Now there's giant, there's also giant shrimp or giant river shrimp which have the big long skinny claws uh, and they're very closely related to these guys as well but they're from the shrimp family so. Oh have a look at this guys. He's uh, regrowing his leg there. So some species have the ability to regenerate their limbs. Geckos and skinks from the lizard family, they can grow their tails back. A lot of crustaceans can grow their limbs back. He's also missing one of his antennae here and he's growing that back as well. And these are the males. The males are a bit bigger and they have the big claws and they battle each other. They're territorial as well. The females will have eggs under here. If you ever get one with eggs, you throw them back obviously because they're repopulating. But what happens is after a couple of months, those eggs turn into tiny little yabbies and they stay on there to develop their little claws and their eyes. And then the female will release those as well. So he's got little mouth parts here and he uses these little tiny claws to feed and put those into his little mouth parts here. A couple of these on the barbecue, Ooh, they're not too bad. Not as good as the saltwater prawns are, of course. But what we're gonna do today is we'll just let these guys go. Just wanted to catch them show you guys at home a little bit about them and then we'll send them back on their way. I've got a friend! <laughs> oh man, look at that bad boy. Now that's an aquatic leech. He's a little bit different to our terrestrial ones we get up in the tropics. These ones are fully aquatic, and obviously they suck your blood. To get these ones off you, what you do is you put a bit of salt on there, or maybe even just a little bit of dead oil. And what they do when they latch onto you, these leeches, is they release a little general anaesthetic, so you can't feel them attached to your skin. They've also got an anticoagulant in their saliva, which keeps your blood flowing. So you can see my blood down here. 
that anticoagulant from the leech will keep that blood flowing. If you rip him off, it's gonna bleed a lot more, but if you put a little bit of salt on him and he releases himself, it won't bleed as much, but you'll see that round, little round patch. Woo! That's why it's always good to wear underwear when you go swimming in here. Okay, here's a couple of little smaller ones. Now, they're from the arthropod family, all of the crustaceans, and they slough their exoskeleton. And then they go through a stage where they're actually soft. They've got a soft shell. This one here's got a soft shell at the moment. And while they have a soft shell, they'll eat that and they'll actually grow a little bit before their shell hardens up. But basically what they do is they grow out of their skin, very similar to a snake sloughing. So what we'll do is we'll pop these little ones in here. Oh, that one's gone straight away. There you go. Go on, off you go. You wanna stay? Thanks for joining us guys here on Awesome Animals TV. Please hit subscribe and share this video with your mates if you like it. Remember, stay wild and I'll catch you next time. All right, we'll let these guys go. It's a bit warm out the water for them. Catch you next time. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, mud bath. All right, bye-bye and I'm out of here. Hey, don't wait. Yabby mice is yabby. Yabby! <laughs> Thanks for joining us again here, guys, on Awesome Animals TV. Please share our videos. That really helps a lot. Also, check out our playlists page, guys. We've got all sorts of stuff there from bush tucker and survival tips to fishing to scuba diving, snorkeling, adventure sports, awesome destinations, lots of cool stuff. Remember, keep it wild and I'll catch you next time.